What's going on, folks? Y'all know where I'm at. You see where I'm at. What's going on? Oh, here in the yard in the garden. Hot, sweating. Missed my window this morning, so I was pretty much working in the sun, you know. Time, all of this is shaded, but then after the sun comes up up there, you know, it hits the ground to be hot. But anyway, real quick. I'm going to hop on and, and, and share a quick thought, a quick revelation. Holy Spirit shared with me the other night um, doing Bible study. You know, I offer um, some of my church family some of my plants if some of them wanted to get into gardening you know learn how to garden or just wanted to grow something or just needed an outlet um of some peace and some quiet because gardening is very therapeutic you know and just in case they needed some solid something to do a hobby or something to do to detox to decompress or whatever the case may be and i told them um that if they didn't have space or a yard not to worry because you can grow a pepper plant or a tomato plant and a two to five gallon bucket and what you can see i have row in this one i have a tomato in this one pepper plant in here tomato tomato and i even have a whole squash plant in this one i've gotten some nice squash and zucchinis out of a five gallon actually out of this one and out of the bucket so you can a five gallon bucket but what i wanted to hop on and share that holy spirit showed me meant in this one this might this is a really big it might a little over it might be like seven or eight but anyway pointed something out to me when i was in meditation this morning and i was thinking about that or whatever the case may be because i had just put something in myself holy spirit spoke and let me and reminded me that while you can grow a tomato or a pepper or a zucchini or pretty much anything in a pot that you cannot expect the same harvest out of a pot that you would in a garden or in a bed. Because see, these right here are like, I'd say about two feet across, maybe one, one and a half to two feet. And maybe seven or eight feet right there. So I'll say like a two by eight or whatever the case may be. And I cannot expect this to produce the same thing that this would and see this one is bigger than that and it's sharing space with a cucumber i mean a cantaloupe a couple cantaloupes watermelons a couple of bush beans over here this one is sharing space with two cucumber plants i got some garlic and some mint and stuff i got a pepper right there um Got two bush beans, uh, uh, two watermelon plants, another cucumber or cantaloupe, not sure. Um, tomato plants, you know, some basil right there. Over here, I got two pepper plants and I got a whole squash plant. The spread was saying is, I cannot expect to reap the same harvest out of this, this five gallon pot with this zucchini plant that I will with this one. This plant right here, this plant right here will not get the size of this one. And there it is. They came, I harvested the seeds out of the, the same um, squash plant last season, planted or whatever the case may be. I started them the same way in these cups over here. Started the same way like this before well, I'm started here but I cannot expect these cucumber plants plus there's two in there I can't expect although there's two over there I can't expect this these two cucumber plants to grow and be as big as these two cucumber plants I mean you can even look at the difference and this one is a smaller one but this one is this one has already been growing for a minute the leaves aren't even going to be that same size i can't expect that this is a um a patty plate i think it's called squash or whatever but i cannot expect this tomato plant to produce the same amount of tomatoes or maybe even the same size tomatoes. I can fertilize. 
and I can get the same quality taste, ripeness, redness, juiciness, and all of that. So I can get the same quality fruit, but I cannot expect the same size or the same quantity out of a five gallon bucket that I get from out of this one, two by eight size bed or however size bed. It could be a two by two, one by one or whatever the case may be. Case in point, the capacity to hold the root ball of the plant. The root ball, the roots of the plant is what determines the size of the plant, the size of your harvest and the quantity of your harvest. And so a five gallon pot does not have the capacity to produce or allow the roots to spread out or the root ball to get big enough or to get in enough nutrients to produce the same size harvest that that plant does. What does all this mean, man of God? I'm glad you asked. We're trying to produce and get the same things out of our limited capacity. Our limited size container, memory bank, knowledge base, whatever you want to call it, word base, word knowledge, revelation, time with God, our capacity to in prayer, our capacity to read our word. You can't have a 30 minute prayer capacity or a one a week Bible study capacity and think that you're going to produce the same knowledge and revelation and word knowledge or produce the same life because that's what the reading the Bible is about. It's not about sermonizing and being able to, to revelate the word and exegete the text. It's about changing your life and your life getting better. You cannot expect the same size, quantity, maybe quality, but very rarely. you got to be doing something serious. Anyway, you cannot expect to produce the same size quantity harvest as somebody that spend time in their word every day, that spend time in prayer in the morning, sometime in the evening and at night. You cannot have a small capacity for something, a limited containment of something and expect to produce the same size fruit, the same quantity of fruit at the rapid pace, that's another thing, at the pace of somebody that's spending lots of time in their word and in prayer and in God. You cannot expect to produce the same at work as somebody that's constantly going to career development trainings, um, personal development trainings. They're doing watching link, doing LinkedIn learn tutorials. They're logging in on the company Zooms when they're putting out free trainings. And you don't feel like it because... You know, you kind of already know this stuff, but you know, you cannot expect to produce the same quality of work, the same innovations, you, you know, coming up with the same ideas as them. And we're comparing ourselves to people that their capacity to hold information is greater because their capacity to intake is greater. If we want to produce more, we got to increase our capacity to hold. If we want this kind of a uh, cucumber plant, we cannot be content with planting our seeds in a vessel this size. I got one, two, three, four, six, seven tomato, I mean cucumber plants in this plot of land right here. And all of them will get big and produce because they have more room although the border is right here they got more space to hold to let, allow their roots to go out and so their capacity to hold is greater so their reduce will be greater just want to hop on there right quick i ain't really want to talk this long but holy spirit be because that was for me too you know, I, I constantly compare myself and I look at what other people are doing in ministry and I look at what other people are doing um, on YouTube and on social media. And I look at what other people are doing at my job and what other people are doing in consulting and things that I'm good at presentations and all of that. And I'm comparing myself to people that have, that are doing great things. And number one, they've been doing this a lot longer than me. It's number one. So their capacity is greater because they've been building longer than me. 
Not that I couldn't learn that knowledge in, in this short time, but they have more experience doing this. Experience builds capacity. That's number one. And number two, they have more trainings and more things under their belt. The more you learn, Holy Spirit pointed this out to you, the more you learn, the more you gather, the more God breaks you, the more he pours into you, the greater you grow. You cannot not grow when, when you're being constantly fed. So the more and the longer you're being fed something, the great bigger you're getting, the bigger you get the capacity. I can hold a whole lot more water than uh, my little grandson can because my stomach is bigger, my body's bigger, my container is bigger. I can hold more. But I've gotten this big because of time. Not anything that I've done, but, but because of time. So time and how much you're investing in something grows your capacity. So if you want something, you want to produce more, you want to produce bigger, you want to produce at a rap, more rapid pace because those buckets, those containers, what I will get out of one harvest of a plant that's planted in the ground, it probably would take three or four harvests in a bucket. So I'll get 10 tomatoes, but I'll get them over maybe five harvests as opposed to I'll probably get 20 um, and one harvest of a, one that's planted in the ground because it has more space. It can hold more nutrients. It can be fed more. It can be given more because the container that it's planted in is bigger. Some of us are planted places that don't have the capacity itself to feed us more so that we can grow. Some of us are stagnant at jobs because the job, just, we've outgrown that container and it's time for us to branch out. That's just simple and plain. That was a free one from the Holy Spirit. Yo, that's it. That's all I got. Yeah, I was a little longer than what I like. I'm working on cutting my time down, but it just be getting so good to me. Look at me, I done worked up and sweating and everything. And I be talking fast. But, um, yo, don't forget, man, keep growing. Anything that's not growing, it's usually dead. <laughs>